Dilute the semen sample between 5 and 10 million sperm cells per milliliter in PBS or diluting agent with low protein content. Heat the Eppendorf tubes in the microwave for 2 minutes at maximum power to liquefy the agarose. Alternatively, place the tubes in a water bath with boiling water during 5 minutes. Transfer the tubes to an incubator or water bath at 37 degrees centigrade during 5 minutes to avoid producing heat shock when introducing the sperm cells into the agarose matrix. Add 25 microliters of diluted semen to the liquefied agarose and homogenize. Place a 15 microliter drop of the mixture onto the pre-treated side of the slide and cover with a cover slip. Make sure to avoid the presence of air bubbles. Place the slide on a cold surface such as a metal plate and introduce it in the fridge at 4 degrees for 5 minutes so as to solidify the agarose gel. Whilst the agarose is setting, prepare the denaturing solution AD by adding 80 microliters of the AD solution to 10 milliliters of distilled water. As its name suggests, the denaturing solution separates the DNA strands. Take the slide out of the refrigerator and remove the cover slip by sliding off gently with your finger. Be careful not to lift it up directly. Incubate the slide in the denaturing solution during 7 minutes at room temperature. Always maintain the slide in a horizontal position. Remove the slide from the AD solution using forceps and place it in lysis solution for 25 minutes. The lysis solution removes most of the nuclear proteins giving rise to the chromatin dispersion halos that determine the amount of fragmentation that the DNA has incurred. Remove the slide from the lysis solution and wash in distilled water during 5 minutes. Incubate sequentially in ethanol at 70, 90 and 100% for 2 minutes each to fix the sample. Leave the slide to dry at room temperature. Once fixed, the slides can be stored indefinitely and stained at a later stage. The last step is to stain the slide. Use DIFQUIC for visualization under a bright field microscope or any DNA specific fluorochrome for visualization under fluorescence microscopy. For bright field microscopy, incubate the slide in eosin for 6 minutes and then a further 6 minutes in Azure B. Leave to dry at room temperature without washing. Once dry, the slide can be analysed under the microscope. The basis of the halosperm kit is the denaturing of the DNA followed by a protein lysis step to remove the protamines around which the DNA is coiled. When the DNA is damaged, the fragments of DNA dissipate and the sperm cell appears with no halo.
On the other hand, when the DNA is intact, a chromatin dispersion halo forms around the head of the spermatozoan. Sperm cells with a small halo are considered fragmented, and those that are lightly stained and have a damaged membrane are considered degraded. Degraded cells are also counted as fragmented. We recommend classifying 500 sperm cells to obtain a representative sample of the population. With these simple criteria, we can establish the percentage of sperm cells with fragmented DNA in the sample. A percentage of damaged cells above 30% is considered pathological.